In order to approach the topic of progressive web applications, also called PWAs, progressive web app, we can say that they're a mix of traditional websites and native applications. They combine the flexibility of the web with the user experience of a native application. These applications can be installed locally on the device we're using, whether it's a mobile or desktop device. Some sites that have already implemented this technology are Telegram, Twitter, AliExpress, Google Maps, Tinder, Pinterest, among others. Before we get into the details of progressive web applications, we'll see what web applications and native applications are all about. In this way, we'll know their particular characteristics and differences. A web application, or web app, as its name indicates, is an application that's hosted on a web server and is accessed from a browser via the internet or an intranet. Unlike native applications, web applications are not installed and run on the computer or mobile device. But instead, they're always executed on a server using a browser. Web applications are interactive platforms, different from traditional websites that are generally a set of static pages, which are basically responsible for delivering information. Web applications have a higher level of complexity and focus on the interaction and performance of actions by users, usually by accessing a database. Some advantages of web applications are as follows. No installation is required. They run on a web server. They're multi-platform. You only need a web browser. They're virus-free, as data is stored on the application server. The latest version is always accessed. They store all data in the cloud or in an external database, so they don't take up space on our device. And free access for users at any time, place, or device just by having an internet connection and access credentials. Some examples of this type of application, Gmail, Facebook, Spotify, and Netflix among others. Native applications are those developed specifically for a certain operating system. They're developed taking into account the characteristics and specific features of each platform. These platforms can be either a mobile operating system, such as Android or iOS, or a desktop operating system, such as Windows. Some advantages of native applications Access to device resources, hardware and software, including camera, microphone, contacts, and so on. They allow sending push notifications. These notifications are displayed on the device even when the application is not running. A clear example can be seen in WhatsApp with message notifications, or, for example, when we receive a new email. An enhanced user experience with fast and smooth access. A consistent user interface, menus, buttons, commands, and so on, because they must follow the design guidelines of the operating system manufacturers, and they work offline, that is, you can access the contents of the app without being connected. Among the native applications with the highest number of downloads so far are Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, among others. Going back to PWA, as we mentioned in the beginning, they're an evolution of web applications, which bridge the distances existing between them and native applications. And they can perform tasks that until now only native applications could do. For example, accessing device resources or sending push notifications. A PWA uses the latest technologies available in browsers to provide an experience very similar to that provided by a native application. Let's look at the architecture of PWA. These types of applications use a technology called Service Worker. Service Workers allow PWAs to run in the background without the need to reside in the browser. 
when the application is installed, the service worker is also installed together with its cache in the browser used. This will allow for offline use of the application because it loads the content from the cache. This loaded data was saved in our last access with internet connection. This is one of the main differences between PWA and traditional web applications. In web applications, when we access offline, it'll simply respond that it has no connection to retrieve the necessary data and will remain waiting to connect to the server. We'll now list some of the features and benefits of progressive web applications. Responsive design. These applications are developed with a responsive design that fits any device and screen, like PCs, tablets, smartphones, and so on. Offline operation. Thanks to the service worker feature, they can operate in low quality networks or even offline, as long as the user doesn't have to send new data to the server. No need for downloads. Users don't have to go to each operating system store and look for the application to install. We can install it simply by accessing the site from the browser. This makes them compatible with any operating system. They're easy to share. We can share the app by simply sending the URL by any means. They're multi-platform. They're supported by the most popular browsers, such as Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Safari, and so on and they can be run and installed on any operating system, such as Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android, iOS. They're always up to date. The latest version of the PWA is always accessed, without the need for us to update it. When you open the app and connect to your server, you already have access to the latest version available, as with any web application. Access to device resources. This is one of the main features that distinguishes web applications from native ones. With PWA, we can now send push notifications, access the geolocation, the camera, the microphone, and so on. These features, which were exclusive to the device's native applications, are gradually being extended and improved. Small size. PWA take up a small amount of the device's memory, usually weighing less than one megabyte. Security. PWA must be served over a secure network using the HTTPS protocol to keep user data safe. Let's see an example of how to install this kind of application in a computer. In this case, we'll use Pinterest. We enter the site through Chrome. The browser detects that it's a PWA, and the cross icon appears in the navigation bar, next to the favorites icon. Clicking on this option will allow you to install the application on your computer. The other option is to access the browser's side menu by clicking on the three vertical dots and then install. Once installed, a login icon will be created on the desktop and the application will immediately run in a new browser window for you to start using it. As we can see, this independent window has some specific features. It uses a much cleaner and simpler design, with no navigation bars, menus, or icons interfering with the user's experience. Only the application name, the three vertical dots for menu access, and minimize, maximize, and close buttons will appear. To uninstall a PWA, we do the same thing from the options menu, clicking on the three vertical dots and then on uninstall. A dialog box will appear, giving us the option to remove the application from the system and also to delete the data it has saved in our device. Now let's try this on a mobile device, which is exactly where we'll make the most out of this type of application. To install a PWA in Android, first of all, we access from Chrome the site built with this technology, for example, Pinterest, as we just saw. 
Then we press the menu button and select the option Add to Main Screen. A login icon will be generated, and the application will immediately open in a separate browser window with special features, as we just saw in computers, without a bar or navigation commands, giving a clean and clear appearance and simulating the look and feel of native applications. When browsing the app, it feels just like a native Android app. It offers a clean, sharp design with agile movements and fast interactions. One of the features of PWA, which distinguishes them from traditional web applications and brings them closer to native applications, is that they can work without an internet connection, offline. This is because these applications store data in the cache that later allows us to access them offline or with a limited connection. If we remove the internet connection from the mobile device and access the application, we'll see that we can browse it, since the information we're accessing was saved the last time it was accessed online. When trying to enter content or a section that we never visited before, the application will give a connection error or will remain loading until it's found. This functionality, which includes offline data, also helps us to reduce the loading times every time we open the application and move over different sections. To uninstall the application, we'll do it as we do with any native application of the device. For example, from the Application Manager, we see that it appears there. First, let's note that this application takes up 221 kilobytes on the device, unlike the native Pinterest app that takes up 115 megabytes on the device. This is another big difference between PWA and native apps. The latter take up considerably more memory space, which, for some devices, can be a key point between maintaining the application or removing it to free up space. Going back to the uninstall process, selecting the application will give us the option to remove it. A similar process is used to install a progressive web application on iPhone devices. For example, from the Safari browser, which is the default for this operating system, we enter the Pinterest site and select the Share option. Then we select the option Add to Startup, and next, we enter the name that will be assigned to the application. A login icon will be added to the device's desktop. By accessing the application, we'll immediately be able to use all its functions, just like with an Android device, as we just saw. Note that the design is similar to that of any native iOS application, and the same goes for the animations, transitions, and its overall operation. To sum up, progressive web applications are well positioned for the future and have great potential due to the fast advancement of web-based technologies. PWA has tried to bring together the advantages of the web and the world of apps. They not only have a great future, but they already have a strong present, and as we saw in this brief introduction, large companies are already using this technology. A PWA is adaptable, accessible, upgradable, installable, secure, and lightweight. This makes them an interesting option when developing an application. This has been a brief introduction of progressive web applications, describing their main characteristics and the differences with traditional web applications and native applications. In a future video, we'll see how to generate progressive web applications with Genexus.